Hey guys, and welcome back to a new playthrough with, actually let me move my microphone back just slightly, perfect, to a new playthrough of Europa Universalis 4. It has been a long time since I've said those words. Let's move it up just slightly now that I'm sitting right in my seat. And as you can see, we are playing as Bengal. In this playthrough, our goal is going to be uh, multifold. One, we're going to be staying Muslim. We're going to be keeping the Sunni religion and following along with that we're going to try and convert india now i th obviously our ultimate goal i think is going to be to form hindustan which we look we need all of india pretty much i mean we technically only need certain provinces but they're just so spread out we need to take all of india to be hindustan and I think our goals are also going to be take all of India and maybe Southeast Asia too. I don't know. Can you become the emperor as, as Muslim? As a Muslim nation? Because if you can, I guess we could fight Ming. I mean, look. If we take all of India and Southeast Asia, we can definitely fight whoever's in control of China. It's going to be Ming. It's not going to change. So, let's get started. First, national decisions. We'll adopt the title of Khalifa. Denouncement of sect practices and enforce religious unity. I mean... That one's not really going to matter, but we'll do it anyway. So, we have four rivals. Ayutthaya. Well, we have four enemies. Bengal. That's, wait, no, that's me. Um, John Poor, and then Arrested declare us an enemy. It's these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys. Ayutthaya, we're not really going to have to worry about unless we attack someone they're allied with. They're not ever really going to attack us. So, allies. Um, we're going to be hard pressed to find allies, but we got to find the, get ones we can. Gujarat, who do you hate? Them and them. Oh, wait, no, that's them. Look, we need friends, because we don't have any. We just need to get the ones we can. So, let's see. Ayutthaya is allied Archon. You are only allied with Assam, so you're actually going to be first. Well, let's go up here, and this may or may not be the second time I've tried recording this. Not because of any technical problems, but when I tried doing it, um... <laughs> how do you say it? I went to war with Arissa, and I was like, wait, this is great. They're sieging down a province where they have the river. I'll be doing great. However, they still had their god. Actually, I was winning, and then they just brought in more of their vassal swarm, and I kind of got my butt handed to me, and I lost. Well, I didn't lose. I just didn't fight anymore because, look, I knew I lost. There wasn't a question. So, who do you want to do? We actually have some money where we could get two advisors if we wanted. I want to pick whichever one's probably going to work the best. Reinforce speed kind of sucks. Um, we'll take yearly prestige. I think it'll It'll be something. So the reason why we also want to go up here in Coke is um in us in the um into Assam is they're actually part of the East Aryan group along with Bengali. So they'll be in a so there'll be a tolerated culture of it. We got a claim on what? Oh, eh, whatever, they're not gonna do anything. So do we re religiously convert anyone? No. Well, we're just not doing it yet. So what I'm actually going to do is... Why did that go up? Oh, our leader is a zealot? That's actually good. So what we'll do is we're going to go here to East Bengal. We're going to do local missionary strength by plus one. So yeah, now we're actually going to be converting a lot faster. Can I actually fabricate any claims against them? Probably not. And you know, we are going to raise um, autonomy here. It, it will drop... For right now, it's going to be worth just not dealing with it. Yeah, I know that our rivals are probably going to embargo us everywhere. Now, we want that prestige. We're, look, we're never going to get to mysticism. There are the other Muslim sultanates around us. But there's not enough of them that we're going to be fighting that's going to be worth it. We're primarily going to be fighting... Buddhist and Hindu nations. 
So now we're not at army cap yet. We still have plenty of money. So let's add three mercenaries to our army. Yeah, I don't want to have any of the unrest going because we're kind of in a fragile place right now. Our religious unity is only 50% and it's only that high because we're what, we have the Indian Sultanate reform. But if we keep probing it, probing it it's going to be bad. Right now our religious unity is not affecting it. But if we had minus one, it would still be positive I think. But it would be close or if we had war exhaustion or whatever it could end up getting bad. Alright, you're out of the tier hust. Hey, Max. It's my, one of my cats. He's over here. Where are you, buddy? What's up, dude? So, they are going to fight us. If we declare war on Coke. I don't, I'm not particularly caring. Like, we go here to our armies. Sam only has eight. It's so actually, they overall do have more than us, but we're going to be able to wipe out their armies. Pretty easily. Oh, it's one of these African countries. So, let's let that... Oh, we're done. So. Oh, now you're allied with Song. Now we're looking at kind of a problem. So now I'm not sure I can fight all of you. However, actually, what culture group are you in? You're in East... Oh, even better. So we'll actually have a claim already. Actually, we can probably get claims. That, uh, we'll declare war on Tier Hut. Because we're only get Coke in them. And I mean, we have that steward of one province minor. Actually, yeah, we need imported iron. And then we can just annex the provinces from Coke that we actually want. So yeah, I, th I think we're, we'll do good. So I do want our military to stay actually pretty big. Orissa's our big problem right now. I mean, Johnport too. We've noticed Orissa is much more war happy. Hey, buddy. Oh, you want to sit on my lap right now? Well, I'm sorry, little buddy, but that's not happening. Sit on my lap later, though. Or I guess you can still try. Alright, go ahead. If you can jump up, then you can sit. Guess not. Oh, no, he's still trying. He's just trying from a different angle. So, not quite high enough. And hey, we managed to convert some of them. Religious unity didn't even go up because I think it was less than eight. Less than one. Provincial unrest. Oh, it didn't take 21 years for it to go off. Now, we could become Hindu right now. It's not going to happen, though. I want us to stay Sunni. It's going to be a fun playthrough. And let's go. Yep, so we'll take do that. We'll declare war. So we'll move there, wipe out their army. I wonder why they did that. Did they like... You know what? Never mind. Because they're going to have bigger problems. Oh, you can, don't want you up there. No, never mind. We're going to declare war on Coke anyway. Because now that Tier Hut's at war, then we now have one of the enemies removed. I don't really care what Zong does. And go. And of course, even though they're at war right now with John Poor, they're just going to fight me instead.
Alright, so we won the battle there. That's all good. So they do want us to get a little bit more of our men back. Alright, let's go. So we got a siege. Is that seriously in all of West Bengal? Oh, yeah. So they're not going to take that land, but they're probably going to help us beat them up. Demand payment in full. I want to actually need that money now. You see, the AI, I mean, they have to target you. Because why would Tear Hut just abandon their land to John? To get fought by John Poor? There he is, looking at a potato chip. They, they always seem to get in the trouble. Like, at the worst times. This is when I'm doing stuff for trying to go to sleep. I mean, he's not really getting in the trouble by licking a potato chip. I don't even know where he found it. They can't have that much manpower left. Oh no, they do. Which is probably because it's all in the men right now. Yep, there goes an army. So I should probably let them yeah, fight John Poor right there. Oh yeah, I should probably. Alright, whatever. We need the siege. That was actually a pretty good battle right there. Probably wiped out some troops somewhere. Yutira and Assam have no troops. Kok and Zong still have troops. Zang can probably... I think I've said the name differently so many times. There we go. Let's get that seed going. And take it. Yeah, deny it. Let's keep that legalist going. Oh, and hey, we've... Mm, yeah, that doesn't matter. Uh, we'll stop the culture converting for right now. Not culture converting, um, religious conversion just because I don't want to get a rebellion. We'll wait. We're going to do it when we're not at war. Actually, alright, renaissance. So that's going to be a problem eventually. Right now, it's not. But eventually, we're going to start getting really behind in technology. And it's going to take forever to get to us. We can manually bring here by developing provinces, but I just don't think it's going to be worth it. Alright. Gujarat. Oh, hell no, if you think I'm helping you fight them. Malwa, you want a new buddy? Oh, yeah, I'm at war. But you'll probably take it afterwards. Except. No, yeah, let's just get this fort sieged. Let's see, what's our king? Yep, that's all I wanted was a siege pit. And we got it. And now we get to play a run around with all of their met with our other army. Trying to catch these troops. While that's going, because I forgot to set my timer again. Oh boy. Alright, now I know how long. Uh, who am I kidding? I know what it is. They say they're negotiating only for themselves. Either way, I know exactly what I'm taking. So our national idea is, what is our first one going to be? Religious would be good. I mean, it's... The best one, I think, is, like, economic or quality or something. Trade. Look, I'm not good at this game to really do anything with trade. I mean, global trade power is probably going to be pretty good. Actually, religious, you don't even get the bonus till later. Maybe I should go trade. Trade or economic is what I'm going to do. Actually, I think, I, I think I'll do trade. I'll branch out. 
I do really like getting a military power. Oh, now I should go over our ideas. So we actually have an inert combat ability bonus. And we have more manpower too. Which is actually really, really nice. And it's going to come in turn. So I actually do want to get quality ideas. Because we're going to bump that bonus up even higher. Again, Sang is going to get off Peachy King. Do you actually guys actually just want to leave the war? No. Didn't fa think so. Look at that. We still have an income. Oh, that's neat. It's free prestige. There you go. We've won the Siege of Assam. And we'll take all of this. As long as it's... Really? Oh, wait. I think I'm thinking of this wrong. And probably... Oh, no. I can't, actually. So, I think Assam might be living another day. I guess I'd rather have the better province. Yes, Max. You're being very loud right now as normal. Who? Oh, just a psalm? I don't care. You know what? Never mind. We're taking this one. Because <laughs> a lot more people, actually still a lot of them probably will. Not countries I particularly care about. Though. Most of them are tiny. Orissa is the big one. I didn't want them to be part of a coalition. We don't have quite enough. So, we've expanded finally. Which is good. Very good. Not a bad thing at all. Now we're going to need to take some time. Kind of incorporate what we got. And then we'll go out expanding again. We're really going to be able to like win when we finally beat um, Orissa and Jonport. When we can finally be stronger than them and take them down, that's when we're at a good point. Because if we can actually beat them... I mean, Bahamidus and Vijayanagar are going to be problems eventually. But I don't think they're going to be problems for quite some time. And they're all just going to keep fighting, and no one's doing a stupid coalition against us. Well, they might, so we need to slow down. Yeah, we need imported iron. I'm only doing that because I want the military power. Land maintenance by modify. We'll take that because it just makes it a little cheaper to have that advisor. Yeah, I know we have rebels out the butt. It's not, it's not going to be that much of a problem. We'll be able to take down whoever comes and fights us. Oh, let me, oh, no, I didn't just do that, did I? Oh, wait. Oh, oh my God. What did I do? Well, tabbing stuff out. Um, about another minute or so. We'll just let it run. Organize, yeah, organize relief. I don't like um, doing stuff like outside of camera because I like people being able to s see what I'm doing and see that I'm like actually doing it. Not that I think you guys accuse me of being a liar, but I don't know. I, d I just like doing it this way. You know, we're not going to be at war with anyone who's going to do anything. Um, it's a trade. So all of our, tra all of our trade. It's flowing in here from Malacca and Siam. Actually, in from Burma. So we're actually transferring a good amount. Oh, yeah, and from up here, too. And it's leaving. It's not an end node, although it's... How much money is in here? I mean, it's not that valuable of a node. But there's, there's some money here. And as we can start drawing more in. Because I have no doubt that probably. Actually everything from a lock and stuff is coming in from here. But whatever. We'll figure something out. Oh our general died. Whatever we have our mighty king. 
Or Sultan, I guess. What I really want is a... Is a missionary advisor. Yes, I love a good story. Should be good. It's yearly tax. No, it's monthly. And we don't really have enough money, right? We don't have enough money to where I think it's worth doing it. Like, yeah, we'll increase our income, but I want to have that raw cash just in case we get declared war on by Arissa, really. Because we're going to need to hire mercenaries out the ass for that. If we can win the war, we're good. But if we can't, then we're in deep shit. <laughs> Alright, our land is starting to get cored. It's actually all done. You're already a state. And I'm probably going to want to make you a state too. Actually, we're going to fire you. If I had to make an income cut somewhere. So we'll do this, make you a territory, and we'll core everything. So there we go. Now we have this is prime parts of our country, and the autonomy will over time start to drop. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this first part of the video. I'm glad to be in EU4 again. And if you liked it, like it, like hit the like button or dislike. Either one actually works for YouTube's algorithm. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content, and hey, leave a comment down below. I always love reading what you guys have to say. I will catch you all next time. Peace!